In this video, we will study about the overhead budget. Before going to discuss the overhead budget, let us discuss the product cost first. Let me review the product cost. Actually, the product cost is a combination of three costs, material and second is labor, third is overhead cost. If we see the material, material we will divide in again two costs. One is direct material and second is indirect material. I write is I am it means indirect material. If we see the labor, when we divide the labor cost into two part, one is direct labor cost second is the indirect labor cost third is the overhead costs here is the indirect material and indirect labor is also part of the manufacturing overhead costs the overhead cost is a combination of the cost we cannot trace the product directly. It may be indirect material, indirect labor, factory overhead rents, factory depreciations, etc. In the overhead cost, we if we divide again, we divide into again two parts. One is the variable overheads, second is the fixed overheads. Let me discuss again the overhead cost in details. Let me to let me to move in other pages right now. Here I am again discuss the overhead cost because in our previous page I, we do not have a specific space here so I decided to discuss again here. In our previous discussion we see that the overhead cost is also part of indirect material. Oh, sorry, let me raise it. indirect labor and other overhead costs. Other costs may be electricity of the factory, depreciation of the factory, or other indirect costs uh, is part of our overhead costs. We divide the overhead cost into two parts one is our variable costs it means these costs are changes as we change the productions the second is our fixed very overhead cost these are costs which cannot change when we change the productions and here a variable cost is indirect material indirect labor etc are part of the variable overhead costs in fixed costs like a depreciation of the factory rent of the factory etc. This type of the cost is part of the fixed overhead cost. When we need to prepare the budget then we will make the budget in such a way that uh, we write the variable overhead cost first like indirect material 
इंटरेक्ट लेबर देन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी दिस टाइप ऑफ द ओवर हेड कास्ट वी राइट फर्स्ट देन वी राइट द फिक्सड ओवर हेड कास्ट इट मे बी एकटेड डिप्रेशन फैक्ट्री डिप्रेशन सैलरीज ऑफ द सुपरविजर स्टाफ rents this type of cost we write in the fixed overhead sections then we get the total of the overhead cost when we add the variable costs and the total of the fixed cost then we get the total overhead cost let me explain this concept with the help of a very good example let move to an excel sheet right now here is the manufacturing overhead budget is available in excel sheet let me let us to look it uh, first we write the company name then we write the manufacturing overhead budget then we write the date if the budget is quarterly then we put the quarters there if yearly then we put the years if monthly we put the month year for the calculation of the manufacturing budget we need the Uh, unit of the productions and then we check the variable overhead cost then we add the fixed overhead cost in this and data we have the variable cost is indirect material which is 0.20 per units and indirect labor is 0.15 per unit and other uh, variable overhead cost is 0.35 per unit when we multiply 0.20 with the unit production then we get these costs in different quarters then after getting these amount then we will add up up these amount then get the total variable overhead cost uh, we then we move, will move to fixed overhead cost fixed overhead cost in this uh, example is salaries rent and depreciation we write the Salaries, rent, and depreciation. One thing you must be noted that fixed overhead cost is remain fixed in all the quarters unless it is not mentioned in the question. But the variable cost is changing in because a variable cost depend on the units. If the unit change, the variable cost is changed. But the fixed cost remain the fixed here. Then we get the total fixed overhead cost. total fixed overhead cost calculation then we will add the total variable overhead cost and total fixed cost then we get the total overhead cost in this way we able to calculate the manufacturing overhead budget if we are making the uh, cash budgets then we will subtract the depreciation expenses because this is not a, our cash expenses and then the depreciation expense we subtract then we will get the cash payment for the overheads and these are our cash payment for the overhead if we are making uh, cash but uh, budget uh, with uh, as separately or uh, similar in the same question then we will uh, follow this step uh, to overcome our calculation and save our times in exam question here is the manufacturing overhead unit per units the units here we calculate the total overhead cost for the years in the calculation of total overhead cost we will add all the units and add all the cost here and then get the total variable co overhead cost for the years and total fixed overhead cost for the year then we will add these two amounts then we get the total overhead cost here we subtract the total accumulated depreciation from and then then get the cash payment for the overheads when we divide this amount with the total overhead units um, overhead production units then we get the manufacturing overhead rate per units if you are doing uh, these things in the on calculators and then it will take time but in excel it is very easy just one click it easily solve it um, in the question paper if you are attempting there Uh, if it is not a multiple choice question is a long question then you will must be uh, mention the 
this format there the format is also a max there especially name manufacturing overhead and the uh, date of these years these also have a part of the marks from the examiners in this way we make the overhead budget for in accounting uh, i will explain the other budget in separate videos um, if you did not like this video please like it and subscribe this channel and share with your friends thank you so much